Remember in that recent movie where Purple Grimace here dusted half the universe? And when they came back five years later, as far as they were concerned, no time had passed at all. And that's exactly like VM Hibernation. Azure saves the RAM contents down to the OS disk and then deallocates the VM, which means, of course, no cost. And when you wake up that VM, the RAM is restored from the disk and all of the apps and processes that were running are now ready to go. And to make all of this work, you just need to remember how to snap. And not that bad grimace kind of snap. I mean, the one from Professor Green over here. Now, snap stands for size, new, availability, and persistent. So let's build ourselves a new VM and pick your sub and your resource group and then give your VM a name and pick your region. Now we need an availability zone. This feature does not work if you use availability sets. Then scroll down and as for your security options, if you're building a Linux VM, you can use Ubuntu Server 18.04 up to 22.04. However, Trusted Launch is not supported with Hibernate on Linux at this time. On the Windows side, you can use Windows 10 or 11 and Server 2019 and 2022. And Trusted Launch is supported for Windows with Hibernation. The next part of the snap is your size. Click over here, and then you want to add a filter for hibernation, and then click OK. And these are all of the current sizes that are supported in the region that you picked. And just pick the one that best fits your workload. And now this is the real hard part. You need to check that box, and that'll enable the hibernation feature. And this really tells Azure to add a VM extension to the VM, and that'll set up hibernation within the operating system. Then you just add your credentials and click next. And believe it or not, we've talked about most of the snap already. And that would be building a new VM, picking our size and our availability options. And now we need just one more thing, persistent disk. If you go to the bottom here and open the advanced section, you can see that there's an option for ephemeral disk. Now ephemeral disk or shared disk are not supported with hibernation. And with a shared disk, those aren't supported as operating systems, and ephemeral disk really are only temporary for VMs anyway, so we can't do it. But the good news here is that you can just complete the rest of your VM build like you always would. Once it's done, you can check out your new VM, and at the top, you have a new Hibernate control. Now let's go to the left and look at the extensions. Here you should have the Azure Hibernate extension installed. And to verify that everything is working, scroll down until you find the run command. Then click on PowerShell, and you want to type powercfg space forward slash a. And this will show you all of the sleep states that this VM supports. And notice Hibernate is right there, so we are looking good. And if you want a video on what all these different sleep states actually mean, comment below with the words sleep study. Now we've logged on here to our VM and there are several apps open. Now one important thing before we do a test here is to understand your page file. Now by default, Windows will store this on the C drive, but I know some of you like to store the page file on the temp drive. And if you're doing that or you're using a custom image, you need to make sure that that page file is over on the C drive where it belongs in order for Hibernate to work. And we'll get into a few other things with images in just a minute. Back here on the VM's overview page, let's click Hibernate. Now the VM's gonna receive that command from Azure, save all those RAM contents down to the operating system disk, and then deallocate the VM, which means your VM cost here while it's in hibernation is zero. And when you're ready to resume, just click the Start button. The VM will provision again and restore all of the contents from the disk back into RAM along with all of the apps and you can sign in like no time has passed at all. Now let's talk about your custom images with hibernation. Most images start off by just running sysprep. Just make sure that you check the box for generalize and then shut down. And then back in your VM at the top here, click the capture button. Now there are several options already selected for you, so let's scroll down, check the box here to delete the source VM after the image is created, and then select the gallery that you wanna use from the dropdown. Now if you don't have one, just click right over here and create one. 
just by giving it a name and then click OK. And if you've sys prepped your image, then you want to select Generalize and scroll down. And then you want to click over here and create a new definition. And this is kind of a wrapper that'll hold all of your image versions. That needs a name. And then everything else here is kind of done for you. But at the bottom, you can change all that publisher info if you want. And as for the link at the bottom with all the other publishing metadata, it's all good stuff, but it is all optional. So I'll skip it for now and click OK. Now you just set the version here with a major, minor, and patch number. And as for the replication section at the bottom, I generally don't like to do this here. And that's because I'm not 100% sure that this image works yet. So I'd rather complete this stage as fast as possible and do all my testing. And then if it's all good, I'll start replicating the VM to other regions and multiple replicas later as needed. Click next and then add your tags like you do for all of your resources and then create your image. And once that's done, we can test by creating a new VM from this image and make sure that the hibernate option is checked off. And then you can test everything and make sure that everything's all good. Now, I know that I already said in the snap requirements that you can only do this for new VMs. And that is basically true but I bet a lot of you would like to get this working on your existing VMs. Take this server 2022 VM and on the left, go to disks. Then click over here on the OS disk and then click up here to take a snapshot. Give it a name and leave all of the other settings alone and then click create. Then you wanna to go to your new snapshot and at the top, click to provision a new disk. Give it the same name as your original VM and then build it in the same resource group and zone and then scroll down to the bottom. And then you can click over here if you wanna change the size of your disk if you need to. Then you just click create. Now delete the original VM, NIC and disk. And then we're gonna build a new VM with the original VM's name. And don't forget to check that box for hibernation. Once that's provisioned, go to your new VM, go back to disks, and then you wanna click here to swap the OS disk, and then select the brand new disk you just provisioned and click OK. And there you go, your original VM is now enabled to work with hibernation. And the possibilities here are basically endless, like using this with Azure Virtual Desktop scaling plans, which you can learn about right over here. And happy learning.